This video will take a look at the units of measure that are commonly used in pharmacy practice. The units that I'll look at today are units of mass, units of length, and units of volume. So let's first take a look at units of mass. Or units of weight. Now pharmacy practice uses the metric system in all of its measurements, or in most of the measurements anyway. And so the base unit for mass um, in the metric system is, the, is uh, the gram. Now a gram is too large in most uh, pharmaceutical applications, um, especially accommodating the size of tablets and capsules. If tablets and capsules relied on medications to be in grams, they would be huge and people wouldn't take them. And so instead, most of our pharmaceutical formulations are actually measured in milligrams. Now the prefix milli in milligram means 10 to the negative third. So this means that a milligram is one one thousandth the size of a gram. So there's one thousand milligrams in one gram. Another unit of mass that we commonly use is the microgram. And we see micrograms with drugs such as calcitriol and um, thyroid medications. Microgram is abbreviated MCG, however, a lot of textbooks will use MUG. This is the Greek letter mu. You can see that mu looks a little bit like the regular letter M. And because of this, MCG is used to avoid getting microgram confused with milligram, and the result being a difference of a thousand fold. There's 1,000 micrograms in one milligram. Recall that micro means 10 to the negative 6. So there's 1 million with an M micrograms in 1 gram. We also use kilograms when talking about a person's weight. Kilo means 10 to the third, so there are um, or excuse me, a kilogram is 1,000 times as large as a gram. And so a gram, or excuse me, there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. Okay. Let's take a look at some conversions between uh, the metric system and the customary system that we use here in the United States. So, in the United States, we measure weight using ounces and pounds. So one ounce is about equal to 30 grams. It's a little less than 30 grams, but it's a good approximation that we can use, um, say, in the community setting. One pound is equal to 454 uh, grams. A situation in which you would see um, a pound um, of a medication dispensed is in creams and ointments. Sometimes we'll use a pound tub of, say, triamcinolone or silvadine um, in the community setting. We'll dispense a pound at a time. We also use uh, kilograms to measure weight, and one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. We also use something called the grain, which we'll abbreviate GR. And one grain is approximately equal to 60 milligrams. The actual conversion is closer to 64 milligrams, but again, it's a good approximation that we can use in the community setting.
And that does it for uh, weight. Let's take a look at some units for um, for volume. Now the base unit for volume in the metric system is the liter. A liter is a little bit bigger than a quart, and so it's not practical in most pharmaceutical applications, um, especially when dispensing. Um, dispensing liquids, um, we usually never dispense a liter at a time. Instead, we use milliliters. There's 1,000 milliliters in one liter. We also use a unit called a deciliter, which you may be a little bit more unfamiliar with. But a deci uh, means 10 to the negative 1. So there is 10 deciliters in a liter because a deciliter is a tenth the size of a liter. So there's 10 deciliters in one liter. ML is the abbreviation for milliliter, and DL is the abbreviation for deciliter. We also use microliters. Again, you have the same situation with mu. Um, most textbooks use mu L. I'm going to use MCL. Again, the mu looks like an M, so we use MCL. There's a thousand microliters in one milliliter. And that's really all we use in terms of volume. Let's take a look at some conversions to the customary system. So we more commonly use fluid ounces to measure liquids or to measure volume in the United States. And one fluid ounce is about equal to 30 milliliters. Again, it's just an approximation. It's not um, an exact conversion. One pint is 473 uh, milliliters. In the community setting, uh, we typically see stock bottles um, that come in pint sizes. So stock bottles of different solutions or elixirs might come in pint size. And they're used for dispensing to patients. We also use uh, teaspoons and tablespoons. So a teaspoon is equal to 5 milliliters and a tablespoon is equal to 15 milliliters because one tablespoon is actually equal to 3 teaspoons. We also use something called a cc and a cc is a cubic centimeter. One cubic centimeter is one ml. And it's important to know, and you can see right here, that one cc is the same thing as one milliliter. OK. Let's take a look now at units of length. That'll be the last set of units that we look at in this video. So. When we look at length, the base unit in the metric system is the meter. Now a meter is a little larger than a yard, and because of that, it's obviously not practical to use um, meters in the pharmacy setting or in any really in any healthcare setting. And so instead what we use are centimeters commonly. And we use centimeters to measure a person's height. Now centi is 10 to the negative 2. So a centimeter is 1 one hundredth uh, the size of a meter. So there's 100 centimeters in one meter. We also use um, millimeters. A 
again, there's a thousand millimeters in one meter, and there's ten millimeters in one centimeter. And I'm sure you've commonly seen that on a ruler. You look on a ruler and you have you know, ruler in centimeters and all the little marks in between each are a millimeter. We can use micrometers, which most, um, most textbooks will use mu m and one, or I'm sorry, a thousand micrometers in one millimeter. We can go even smaller than a micrometer, and we typically do this when looking at the cellular level um, of different things, and that's using a nanometer. Now, nano is 10 to the negative ninth. So there's one billion with a B um, nanometers in one meter. So there's a thousand nanometers in one micrometer. Remember micro again is 10 to the negative sixth and there's one million micrometers um, in one meter. Let's take a look now at some conversions that we typically see with um, length. And really there's only two that you should absolutely know. One you probably already know, there's 12 inches and one foot. You know, that's pretty simple. The other one is that there's 2.54 centimeters in one inch. And this conversion here is an exact conversion. This isn't an approximation, this is actually, there's actually 2.54 centimeters in one inch which is something useful to know. So that does it for this video, just highlighting the different units of length, uh, mass, and volume. In the next video, we'll take a look at some examples of um, using the different conversions.